Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going over Q3 of the weekly contest 410, find the count of monotonic pairs 1. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about this one. So this one can be tricky, um, but the way that I always think about these things initially is just try to think about how to brute force it, right? Meaning, okay, for each and, and whether um, you can have a representative state for encompassing everything that has happened in between or before so that you don't have to know the history right and what i mean by that is that for example um sorry bring up join right now right uh let, let's still sorry still loading is it up okay yeah um let's you know let's Let's have a um, let's work on a variation, a similar variation where we only have monotonically increasing. So you only have one array, count the number of monotonically increasing things. Well, the thing is that then in that case, um, you you can only like yeah. Let's say you have only an array of like I don't know, maybe not zero, but like five, twenty, fifteen, I don't know, twenty, something like that, and you only care about it going monotonically increasing, right? So then now you, you, maybe the first number could be two, the second number could be five, and then you have to keep going up, but it could be a five and an eight or something like that, right? I don't know, I'm just random. But going back one step, let's say here, then what can the numbers be? Well, the numbers could be five, six, seven, eight, dot, 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 and you could write a brute force on here. But keeping in mind that what this next number is only depends on... Sorry, changing colors. Only depends on this number, right? It does not depend on these numbers because the five already kind of like is enough information to get the next number. Um, you don't have to care about these because it doesn't matter, right? <clears throat> because, yeah, because we, we're trying to do monotonically increasing. Uh, if let's say we have a six, six is going to be greater than five. Also, as a transitive property kind of thing, uh, you know, we know that 5 is greater than the previous number, and you have kind of like this thing, so then by definition, you know that 6, it's going to be greater than all the other numbers, which is part of the monotonic t monoton monotonicity of the property, right? Okay, so now we only created um, an upward thing, then how, what, what can we do? Well, the second part... Is just that uh, noting that yeah um, there are two two formulas right or two um, two arrays that we have to care about and and the idea is actually still the same um, it's just try to figure out how to do it let's say you have two five five eight right then what is the other array well I mean the other array is actually you know we, we know the original array we know our current array that for the monotonically increasing. So then the other way is just going to be this subtracting this, right? So this is 3, 15, 10, 12, right? Of course, this is actually not a monotonically increasing array, so this is no good. So this is not a possible sequence. But now we have an idea to write a brute force in, which is that, okay, then we just brute force the first number and then the second number and then so forth, right? And again, uh, eh, okay, maybe maybe like you know maybe we'll just uh, hmm. yeah let's just do something like this for for a second. It's one hundred and five. So then this is one hundred and three. So then this is decreasing, right? Again, <clears throat> um, again, uh, one thing that I want to emphasize is that the last number is and where it is, of course, the index of it uh, is all that needs, right? Because eight is going to be greater than this, that, that, that. And as long as we brute force the last number in a good way, well, not an X, because that, maybe that's confusing, but yeah, we brute force the last number in like five, six, seven, eight. And of course, in the same time, the five means that the last number is 15, four, uh, yeah, 14, 13, 12, that, 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 right? Because eight plus 12 is 20, seven plus 13 is 20. They all, you know, uh, so then now we can kind of brute force these things, right? Um, and you can't do them together and that's good enough. So it turns out that all you need is this one number. You don't even need the 10 because from here, you know that uh, 15, like it's just going to be a 10 because the input is 15 minus 5, right? So, okay. So that's basically the, the core idea about this problem uh, for Q3. 
I understand that there's a harder Q4, which, you know, you cannot do this idea to, but we'll talk about it on the Q4 video, so definitely check that out. Um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, sorry, I... I, I because Q three and Q four is the same problem. I, uh, I I used it for testing, so that's why. But I okay, yeah. So this is the the code I want to change. Check. So yeah. So basically, the, this is the idea. Um, this is the function. So we, you know we are currently at index. The last up number is last up, right? Um, so then now, and you can see me immediately just do this so that I don't have to think about it, which is that the last down number is just the previous index minus the last up, right? Which is what we did with the, you know, they have to add up together. And then this is, that's pretty much it with the brute force, right? We, we cache this because we don't have to care about any of the previous numbers. Um, yeah, and we just sum up the total. So then uh, you can see that I'm even lazy here, right? It's just for I to... To, so we literally do all the numbers. If the current i, um, so i is the number on the up index or the up array, uh, monotonically increasing array. That's why that's why I call it up array. Sorry. Um, and then this is the down array or the monotonically decreasing array. Is the n minus i, um, not this n, but the last number or this current number, right? And then we just add them all together. Yeah. And to go to the next number and we mod it because that is the problem and that's it uh, And of course we have to kick it off which is what we have here because the way that I wrote this You know it depends on the last up and and also index minus one So I just kick it off by you know brute forcing the first number uh, and, and Yeah, this is basically what happens when you brute force the first number. So what is the complexity here, right? Well, Index can obviously go from 0 to n, last up can go from 0 to max number of num sub i for whatever i is, uh, or actually technically num sub index for this particular case. Um, and as you can see from the constraints here, I don't know if you can see me highlighting it. Yeah, uh, it only goes up to 50, right? So just to be clear, let's fill out these numbers for a little bit. So it's up to 2000, and this is up to 50, up to 50. And then you have this loop that goes up to a uh, max number as well, right? So what's the total complexity? So total complexity is always going to be a uh, number of inputs times time per input, right? Number of inputs, it's going to be, let's call this, um, no, I don't write this. Let's call this uh, MX for max. Number of inputs is going to be n times max, which is also 2,000 times 50, say, in the worst case. And yeah, and each input takes O of max time, right? Takes mx time or 50, right? So that means that uh, total time is going going to be, total time is going to be n times mx times mx, or mx squared, if you will. Uh, which is, of course, you go to 2,000 times 50 times 50 which is uh, still not great, honestly, now that I see it, but it's, which is about, um, yeah, 5 million. Uh, honestly, now that I realize that, it's kind of sketch. <laughs> because I actually missed, I did the math wrong when I did this. Uh, and I thought it was going to be um, 500,000. I did the math wrong in my head. But, uh, but still, eh, it works. So, yeah, let me actually check real quick uh, how long did that take. Uh, so it was this one. Two seconds is pretty okay. Yeah. <coughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the idea. That's pretty much for the idea for this one. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Um, there is an optimization here, obviously, because you, so that you can do the Q4, so that it doesn't have MX square. But, uh, but yeah, that's all I have for this one. You can watch me solve it live in the contest next. Um, I do separate my solving for Q3 and Q4 anyway, so maybe you could watch how I come up with this. But that's basically the idea. It's just brute force number by number. Did you, um, and yeah, you could watch me do that next. That took longer than I 
expected. That seems kind of scary. All right, mod, 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 mod. Okay, so that means that there's a thing on numps of I. That's the only thing that's different. All right, let's take a look. Yep, that's the only thing that seems to be different. Uh, okay. Uh, mod, 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 mod. Right, yep, okay. Okay, let's read this part. This is already a hot six point and seven point. Anyone saw this one then? No. I mean, it's just the last number, right? This doesn't make sense. Oh, okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, yeah. Four one two six. Let's check it for a little bit. Uh, fast enough. Is this right? Because it's zero zero. I don't know if this is right though. It just seems well, honestly. Yeah, whatever, YOLO. Oof. Maybe I should have checked.
Oh, what the? Why would I write that? That doesn't make sense. That's what, oh man. What a typo. What a typo. Uh, no, that's fine. But that's why. Uh, and I was confused, but okay. I mean, that looks like a real answer. How? How? How did I get the right answer for this by accident? Uh, what a silly mistake. 28 right answers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest, this problem, this explanation. How did you do? Everything in between. Uh, in the comments. Stay good, stay healthy, the good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.